In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We pause at this time, acknowledging our sins, asking the Lord for pardon and strength, as we now prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord of Mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of Mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord of Mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we who cannot please you by our deeds may be saved through the intercession of the mother of your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the tribes of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people that escaped the sword have found favor in the desert. As Israel comes forward to be given his rest, the Lord appears to him from afar. With age-old love, I have loved you, so I have kept my mercy toward you. Again, I will restore you, and you shall be rebuilt, O virgin Israel. Carrying your festive tambourines, you shall go forth dancing with the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. Those who plant them shall enjoy the fruits. Yes, a day will come when the watchmen will call out on Mount Ephraim, Rise up, let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob, exult at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. The Word of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessing. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. 
At that time Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the memorial of the dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Major. And the question I ask, as a lot of persons would ask, is why is it that we have such great dedication and devotion to the Blessed Mother, to Mary? We honor Mary first and foremost as Mother of God by virtue of her being the Mother of our Savior Jesus Christ, who was both human and divine. And because Mary is the mother of him who is God incarnate. And so the doctrine of Mary, the mother of God, was solemnly proclaimed at the Council of Ephesus in 431. And afterwards, Pope Sixtus III erected a basilica at Rome in honor of the Holy Mother of God, later to be known as St. Mary Major. This is the oldest church in the West and is dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. In our Gospel today, we heard of a very persistent and persevering woman, a Canaanite, a non-Jew. And she came from, and she came before Jesus to ask for the healing of her daughter, who was tormented by a demon. And this gospel passage catches our attention, I would say, because we would have noticed a very different attitude of Jesus in this gospel. At first, he answered her not a word. And then the disciples seemed to be pleading for her, but that was because she was after them. And then Jesus gave some kind of exclusive reply by saying that he was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And at that, this Canaanite woman had to stop Jesus, as it were, in his tracks by coming before him and kneeling at his feet and made a desperate plea with the words, Lord, help me. And even with that, Jesus seemed very reluctant still and even said that it was not fair to take the children's food and to throw it to the dogs. That doesn't seem to be the Jesus that we are familiar with, the Jesus who is kind, compassionate, meek, humble, and loving. At this point, the Canaan woman, the Canaanite woman would have felt insulted, of course, and despised, and she could have hit back at Jesus. After all, she was, you know, in a, her own territory, and Jesus, in this case, was the foreigner. So instead of vindictiveness, she closed that chapter of what happened, and she chose to give a witty reply. She agreed with Jesus, and she was willing to take whatever scraps that fall off from the table. 
because she was sure that there can be something for her. And for that, Jesus commended her for her faith and granted her her wish. And from that moment, her daughter was cured. So it was a happy ending. And it might be the persistence, it might be the perseverance, it might be the wit of that Canaanite woman that impressed us, but it was the faith of this woman that impressed Jesus, and he commended her for that. It was her faith that told her not to give up with just one rejection. She actually got three rejections from Jesus. One rejection does not mean it is the final decision. So in the face of apparent rejection from Jesus, the Canaanite woman persevered. She persisted and was witty and was also taught, has taught us something about prayer and about faith. We have been called upon as individuals and as a nation at this time to pray for our country during this time of pandemic. And we are called upon for our persistent and persevering intercession and our constant prayer, our intervention for protecting and to end the spread of the deadly COVID-19 virus in our land and for the healing of those facing mortal danger. All of us have our role to play. All of our prayers are needed. And it is for us to take on this request for persistent and persevering prayer. Just as the Canaanite woman took on her daughter's need and make it her own need. That is what true intercession is about. That is what prayer intervention is about. The salvation of many depends on the prayer and the sacrifice of a few. Yes, we may be few, but we have the power of intercession and to make prayer intercession for our country at this time and for our world. May we have the faith of that unnamed Canaanite woman to persevere and to persist in prayer. And may we experience the power of our prayer intercession. And on this day, may our Blessed Mother Mary intercede for us and with us. Let us pray. We pray for our country at this time, during this time of pandemic. We pray for us as a people that we may be persistent in prayer, we may be persevering in our prayer to end this, but may we also be persistent in our following the protocols that we are asked to follow. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all the bishops of the Church, that your Lord will continually guide them by your Holy Spirit as they shepherd the people you ask them to shepherd at this time. We pray for all those who are essential workers. We pray for doctors, nurses, medical personnel. We pray for all those who are involved in any way, shape, and form for the safety for us as a people, for them, and for their continued care and protection. We pray to the Lord. We remember those who are sick and those who are suffering. We remember the homebound and those who have no one to care for them, that they may feel the presence of the Lord in this moment. We pray for our own personal needs and intentions at this time. For these we pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, we thank you that you hear these our humble petitions we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray and ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise, for truly even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring unto the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patrick, our Bishop, the clergy, and all those who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
blessed Joseph Espouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. We now make our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I hunger to receive you. Since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now as I do when I actually receive you. Permit me never to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. I do hope that you have a very safe and beautiful day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go forth. The Mass is entered.